Okay, so I nicely changed uh, here my stuff here, and I will take it here. I'm gonna take a date and time here. Very nice, as you see it here. Uh, I did put this on here. And uh, you can see here, I share this stuff with the entire world. This is public here. This is pertains to the Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, this is actually what... Uh, I don't know who does this stuff. I don't know how the fuck they do this stuff. But I'm going to demonstrate you what the fuck is going on here. Okay. Uh, who can comment on this post, edit post, save video, pin post, edit post, audit audience. Uh, and who the fuck is the audience? It's public, it says right there, right? And so it says like this for everything. For everything you see is like this, you know? I actually even have, oh, let me see that. Oh, there's two people that like this stuff. Okay, cool, nice, thank you. And so this is my profile here. Except that it's not. Except that it's not. And so this is what I will report most likely to the police. I will have this stuff investigated. Maybe I'm doing something wrong with it. But I'm afraid I'm not doing absolutely anything wrong with it. And it's the Facebook that does this stuff. It's not going to look good. So you see, this is, this is the stuff. This is my page. See, it's all here. It's listed here as public, you see, right there. Why am I showing this to you? Well, I am showing this to you because going in another browser, and I don't know how this stuff is done. I have no idea. Maybe, like I said, maybe I'm doing something wrong with it. Um, but this is not my page. This is my Facebook page, but I come to realize that my Facebook page is actually this here. This here. This is my Facebook page. Uh, the last post, it appears, that I posted dates to January the 15, 2015, and it talks about the white child prostitution in South Africa. And here is, I have also posted from 2014, why I'm not allowed to download my personal archive from Facebook. Uh, it says here, to video 105, demand for political asylum. From Daily Motions. And it says here, we need NATO is appreciation day. So I'm using another profile to see what my profile looks like right now. Yes? Yeah, this is, this is my profile. Look at it. So now you understand why most likely I will take this to the police, to the court, and um, incarcerate, literally, Facebook people for this stuff. Actually, in this case, obviously, we are talking about the Central Intelligence Agency. We are obviously talking about the MI5, about the British Royals in this case. I don't know. Would you like to have a profile like this? This is because this is my profile, this here, what you see. It doesn't show anything about me. It says here, intro, followed by 258 people. So I am a little bit confused about this stuff here because it presents me like I am, I don't know. It goes all the way to 2015 because it's, it seems to me that some people can just not move on. Washington marching against the genocide of whites in South Africa. So they, are, they continue to portray me like what they created with me during MK Ultra. So you th do you think that this page, this Facebook page is actually hijacked or you don't think this page is hijacked? I think this is hijacked. This page is hijacked. It's not representing me in absolutely any way. And it's not representing Ukraine, and it's not presenting the views. Look at the stuff that is presenting Mr. Zuckerberger. 
which is cool. We're going to leave it like this. It's okay. You'll be all right. So I really need to see this. I, I just, by coincidence, have stopped now at this page. No, sir, I was not aware about absolutely anything. Because it's done in a such a way, you're going to see that I have people who like pages, which I don't even get to see at all. Do you understand me, what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that Facebook can present your page to the certain audience, therefore a central intelligence agency, therefore Federal Bureau of Investigation, therefore the White House from the Joe Biden, from Barack Obama, from Donald Trump, can present your page to the certain audience in the certain part of the world, whichever way they want you to see one is. So this is a mother of all extermination procedure, of all crimes. You can see one here. Not cool, huh? You wouldn't want to have like this. So this is a totally, totally different about different person than I am. And you don't get to see my channels on this side. You don't get to know anything about video views, absolutely anything. But this is basically what you get to see. Now, in continuation, I will demonstrate to you how much this has to do with reality. And is it actually worth it for you to post on Facebook this stuff? Oh, you're going to see how dangerous the Facebook is. Today, Fauci had a speech about a COVID-19. He defended himself from COVID-19 just the way he ought to eliminate himself a request of Central Intelligence Agency. What he was doing today, he literally repeated a scenario from MK Ultra, which pertains to 2015. So this is basically the world we live in. That's quite an interesting, isn't it? So they are presenting like a white nationalist, yes? for the British throne to flourish to. Yes, we, I somehow, it looks like I somehow stuck in a time. But for many people probably would it be the best not to even have Facebook pages. I think that Facebook is gonna have to be either eliminated or in my case, penalized with for as much as the Facebook is worth of because it's based literally on extermination procedure on genocide. I don't know how much Zuckerberg is worth, but according to what Zuckerberg was worth the most, is just in respect to the Facebook, I will sue United States of America for it. Because it's not Zuckerberg is doing this stuff. Somebody else is behind this. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't misrepresent people like this. You shouldn't do this stuff. That's a crookery. So this is what you, do you know what you watch? Do you know what you're watching? Okay, I'm gonna scroll all the way up. You're watching the 2015. You're watching me basically being hospitalized and tortured inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Poly. It started in 2012. That's what you're watching. That's all we watched so far. I'm gonna scroll down. I will continue from somewhere here, right? Yo, know, this is this is as criminal as it gets. I don't have I don't have any kind of any kind of comment. I don't have anything, absolutely anything I, I possibly have. What exactly that means? What what is it? What is this about now? Is it like the, the my profile? There was nothing new about my profile since 2015. All right. So this is what the power is of the British royals. This is what Royale, Le Britannia. This is what this is. They did not only cancerize. Talking about these parasites here, worms. They did not only cancerize. 
they play a very, very dirty joke. That's a very, very funny joke. No wonder they're in a good spirits. No wonder they're they're just smiling and they should keep smiling your way till you just as Joe Biden stated. You're rotten in pain and in vain. Damn right I'm angry about this stuff. You better believe it I am angry about it. You would be too. Your life was wasted on pathological liars, maniacs. You wouldn't be happy about it either. So it looks like I stuck in time and the only responsibility they have taken for the crime against for extermination procedure against me is what you see here. This is how they go about it. And they also made sure that they destroyed next to five computers they destroyed. They would supply me with a computer that barely could scroll anywhere due to what appears to me is a lack of RAM. I don't have a habit hiding anything about the stuff I do. And I, for the difference of this British Royals, Washington DC, I take responsibility for my actions. I don't see them as a mistakes of any kind. The only mistake that people make is a lie. I easily can cope with issues, with my issues. It's not difficult for me to cope with my issues. It was not a mistake. Everything I have done is exactly consequences of what was done to me frustration unfortunately anger unfortunately for being mistreated Light, cheated of my life at United Nations. Cheated of my life from nations and from the countries for whom United Nations was established, built, created to protect them. Uh, you need to understand one thing. I do not see myself in this South African white cause in absolutely any way. I don't see myself in this stuff here in absolutely any way because I myself go into the category of non-white people. I do not see myself as a white individual. I do not see myself in, in this stuff here. It was not a mistake. Uh, it was an anger. It was frustration. I disbursed on those that should have been there for me 
can or not when I needed them, uh, for whom I figure out don't care about absolutely anything other than corruption, organized crime, cash, violence for cash, extermination, even a racism procedure, and it's definitely is the truth. This is definitely the truth. This is absolutely undeniable truth. However, they were hired to do this stuff. They were paid to do this stuff by the people whom I have demonstrated you. And I'm not going to say that I was weak, that I failed the test of any kind. It was 40, 40 years of extermination procedure. British Royals, Central Intelligence Agency, FBI already had under the belt, together with the Russians, with the Serbs. In the part of the world such as India, China, Africa, South America, continue to fail me, fail me, fail me, fail me for no more than, for no less than 40 years. But I had no reason to keep silent about, together with the United Nations, about anymore, about what went on. I'm not, I take full responsibility. I'm very, very proud about absolutely everything I did. Because I fought. I'm a fighter. I was there. Just like my grandfather fought against Germans in the World War II. Both sides of my families did. I didn't learn from anybody, but I'm the man who takes responsibility for the stuff I do. And I'm never, ever shy from anything I do in my life. I do not back up from absolutely anything. The stuff that you have seen here, this stuff here that I posted, is what I'm going to charge directly. Whatever I posted here in respect to Obama, I will charge Obama with. You're guilty for me posting stuff like this. And that Trump is guilty for other stuff. And Biden is guilty for other stuff. And George Bush is guilty for other stuff. And Bill Clinton, who did this stuff together with Bush, Trump is guilty for other stuff. I'm a warrior. I don't back up from anything. I, the biggest mistakes I have made, it became soft. And I started to remove videos that depicted me completely insane. Yes, there were videos that I already was completely out from the anger, from the frustration. And I, the only thing I regret is that I moved them from the Internet. Uh, every one of these issues that I posted on the Internet, it demonstrates the imbecility, imbeciles that I was compelled to deal with. And so, when I consider all this stuff, um, maybe they want me to remove this stuff. Maybe they want me to do... No, I don't want to remove this stuff. I want this to stay here. I want to... Uh, all this stuff. I want this stuff to remain exactly where it is. I want it exactly the way it is. Because it demonstrates... A human being who had nothing to do, no reason whatsoever to support Nazism or have anything to do with the fascism or white nationalism. It goes to demonstrate the lunacy, the degree of violence, torture involved in it, to convert one into exactly by the British royals desired product. Charles, by the way, for this stuff here, I will destroy you. All the stuff that you dreamed about, about my having ability to point out the stuff about real you, prior to 1983, I had the ability and I am forced now to complete the job based on what you see here. Because you abused me until 1983, literally for your neo-Nazi agenda, for one thing. And in 1983, through the Ukrainian in Canada, you had engineered something that you had used to cover yourself up, real you, 
that's basically you used me and you continue to use violence on me to portray me as a white nationalist, Nazi, etc., etc., etc. Which frustration would still not broke out till 2011. So I was born in 1971, and I guess about 39 years of torture before you started to prove on a surface that something is wrong with me. So Prince Charles was deeply involved in the neo-Nazism together with his father, Philip. I will reserve this stuff in another video. For right now, we're just going to go with this stuff here. Here is the reality. This is what I get to see. This is what you don't get to see. This is only what few people get to see. It's only few people who get to see this profile the way I see it, obviously. Yes, this is the same profile. Look, this is the same profile. Totally same profile. Okay, this is how I get to see it. This is basically what, um, you know, this is what the profile is like. Certain people get to see this, other people don't get to see any of it. So this is like totally, totally, totally hijacked profile that have absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, nothing to do with reality whatsoever. And it looks like just the way you see it here. I'm not afraid. I, I, I am... I'm glad, I am happy, I am pleased, I am totally, uh, I am absolutely satisfied. I absolutely, I will absolutely take all the responsibility for whatever I did and will use one literally to sue you. You shouldn't have done the stuff like this to me. You really shouldn't have done the stuff like this to me. Shouldn't be doing the stuff like this. So now you're watching the real profile. Is it the psychiatry that works like this? Well, um, no. This has nothing to do with the psychiatry. This has absolutely everything to do with other issues. But it definitely doesn't have anything to do with reality. This is what whatever you post on the Internet already is being misinterpreted and lied about whatever the stuff you do by completely people who have absolutely nothing to do. And whatever the fuck you do is just uh, is being misused, completely misused to advance somebody else. Um, I... You have no idea how many times I was prompted by the Facebook. Uh, it's not the only thing that you see here that some people get to see this profile. But you have no idea how many times the Facebook prompted me about taking certain posts down from the Internet. This is bizarre. They took certain posts, they censor certain posts from the Internet. This is maybe the most bizarre stuff. Because they continue, it looks like that they continue to browse and search my profile, uh, take the posts down, like they're making sure that everything would comply and this and that, you know? When in reality, this is fucking insane. I mean, this is fucking insane. This is the same way as the Israelis went to the Gaza to liberate uh, for refugees. They did liberate it today is what they claim. This is the refugees that Benjamin and Netanyahu talked about will have them liberated in 2016. He chose it's going to be the last four they're going to be liberated. This is the same way. This has got nothing to do with reality. I mean, this is, we live... When it comes to the internet, we live in a very, very, very strange reality. Don't we live in a strange reality? It's a bit strange, this shit. 
it makes me feel like I want to take the whole fucking Facebook account down from the internet, which I which I know they would love me to do. They all the time during MK Ultra they demanded for me to take the Facebook profile down from the internet. I definitely will not. But it makes me feel like, you know, it makes me feel like I want to take the whole fucking uh, profile down from the internet. I mean, this is sick. This shit is sicker than sick, man. I traveled countries, and meanwhile, I was in so many different locations, uh, reported from those countries, reported with all these issues. And my God, that's what the fuck I get is this here. This is what I get. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> Are you fucking serious about this stuff, eh? Hey? It's not even the person that you see over there on that profile that I demonstrated you, which is this profile, same profile. It's not, it's not even, dude, it's not even, it's not even that person that you see right there. It's completely other person. I lost so much like 30 kilos of weight, I lost it in meanwhile, and I am stuck in 2015, according to Facebook, in 40, according to the Zuckerberger. This is completely, completely illegitimate. Uh, I'm asking the U.S. government right now, what is it that keeps you from allowing Facebook to even function? online what is it at this moment it's my question to you how dare you actually to have facebook online people are gonna get to see this stuff from all over the world about this stuff here this is very bad commercial for freedom of united states of america for the united states of america for the for all your freedoms and everything that you that you secure to yourself. This is rough, man. Are you just gonna, you just, you seriously, you're gonna fucking, that's how you do it in the USA? This is the land of the brave and free? This is a bravery? This is 2019. What was this? 2019? And the profile that I demonstrated you, which is exactly the same profile, this profile here, this here, this is where I'm at here with this. Let me see if I can catch myself somewhere facially. You got nothing to do with reality, people. You are, you, you fucking, you got lost, man. This is going to cost you. This is not going to be for free. If you think you're going to you're going to get away with this stuff here, you're you're bloody wrong, man. Let me see if I can get something from 2015. This is me from 2015, right? Six years ago. Not to forget it, 2015. This, this here, this is six years ago. This is here six years ago. And this is what that profile is portraying me. Whole bunch of things destroyed, stolen, missing. And uh, then you can go about... A neighbor you like you. And that's really in a very, very negative sense. I guess... This is me. This is just in the stuff from, I don't even know what, what year is this year, but this is like a 2017 is this year. This is like seven years ago. This, this here, this is me. This is I. This is what they're portraying here. This is what the Facebook is portraying here. Here in this. 
This is what they are, they are doing. And when in reality, it's got more to do with this here. This is not so much anymore the person that you have seen. You would not even spot me if you see me on the street when comparing to the two profiles. You wouldn't get to know me. I did gain some weight. Actually, quite probably another 10 kilos in what you have seen right there. But that's not me right there. You can actually see how my face is even changing. And so this is this is basically how we do this stuff here. <laughs> this is this is very very sad stuff. Hey, uh, I gotta say that this is this is extremely disappointing. I do hope that China, India, get to see this stuff. They know my website, of course, uh, and at the United Nations, the countries from Africa, from South America, from all over will submit a protest against this because this got nothing to do with reality i mean you're pushing down the throat of the reality that is based on a total lie total fake i mean if you're proud about doing this stuff i mean it's it fucking it fucked me up right now when i saw this definitely crazy stuff crazy stuff I did stuck in anger for a few years. I did. I'm not going to. For three years, the stuff I have posted in 2012 and up to 2000 and, I don't know, 15, 2016, it was something else. But this is not what my life was. This is not what I was. This is how my families are about. This is not where I'm coming from. So this got very little to do with reality, hey. So now you're watching the real Facebook page. So this is basically just falsify everything about the person and uh, just create according to their political needs, whatever they want to do about a certain person. And so it goes, appears like. Nice, very nice. And it doesn't matter because people get killed, people get murdered, they will get killed and that's it. That's all there is to it, right? So it doesn't matter really. So you, you talk about the North Korea and you talk about Iran and you talk about Putin or doing the stuff like this. Man, uh, it's no fucking wonder that the people who do bad stuff in this world, whether the dictators and so on, do the stuff because they don't fucking trust you. Because the stuff you do, it's when they, they know about this stuff. Don't worry about it. They get, they get to see this stuff. The government profiles do access this stuff. They do get to see what I post. I don't think it's only Central Intelligence Agency. I think it's governments from around the world that do have access to this stuff. 
And so they, they get to see, they, they get to see this stuff. And you tell them that there is a fake news on the, on the Facebook. The fucking Facebook is completely hollow. This is fake, man. You're fucking fake, dudes. You're, you're totally fake. You shouldn't have any kind of ownership of the... Uh, we removed your content. What is this here? A few seconds ago. Oh, wow. Hey. Check this out. Hey. This is basically what I witnessed to. This is the stuff I witnessed to. A whole lot. And I witnessed this all the fucking time. It's not new. It's not happening. One year, last year, or last two years, or three years. It's happening all the time. It was happening all the fucking time. They would put me in what the people refer to as a Facebook jail. So for me, this was just a way of assuming that my profile, Facebook profile, actually exists. Interesting, because they are not going to remove this stuff here. They did not remove this kind of stuff, what they refer to as a hate stuff, right? They don't remove any of this stuff here. But they removed other stuff. So this stuff here, I don't see myself in this stuff in absolutely any way. When it comes to the stuff like this here. My opinion about the why the genocide in South Africa is such that Africa is an African, belongs to the African people. This is my opinion about, especially about South Africa, where somehow by coincidence, it's really beautiful black females even that exist for whatever reason that is. I'm saying this because you're making fun out of the way the people look, black people in South Africa. That's why I'm saying. Um, I don't know how the hell that happened, but this is where the white minority the so-called white minority really is a dutch minority and i would not pick up on a dutch because i would be a racist if i would but the thing about it is that africa is african is from african people this is not white in any way this is not dutch this is not english this is not italian or French, or Spanish, or Polish, or whatever it is, as they try to put as many people as possible in that bracket so they can look bigger. This is simply black continent, but a tip of the black continent down south in Africa. That's why it's called South Africa. That you should either assimilate with or simply go back to Europe. It is as simple as this. This is my honest opinion about the so-called white genocide in Africa, where the white people, the so-called white people, they call them a white people. still own 72% of the land, which is like, after the World War II, across the Eastern Europe, whatever the Germans managed to steal from Eastern Europeans, the only thing they would do is they would do what is the government, um, They would do the repossession of the stolen land and they would equally divide one to the natives. As to the Germans that were out there to exterminate the natives, literally. That's what the Germans did. They would accumulate in a certain areas like they do in South Africa. They would ship them back home to Germany. Simple as this. And Germans did not protest against that because they understood that they were out there with a sole goal to exterminate the natives and create more and more German lands with it.
And so you can't return those 72% of the land. I think it's the job from the South African government to literally call this land this repossessed and shared with black farmers, not with the black farmers, but given literally proportionally to population in South Africa, divide the land with the population in South Africa. That is, of course, with the black people whose land was simply stolen. There's nothing white in South Africa. The only thing that is white in South Africa is the white minority from Europe. That's the only thing that is white from South Africa. And I don't want to be a racist about it. If they want to integrate in a South African society accordingly with exactly the same conditions that apply to the natives, that's fine. But if not, then this white minority from South Africa they have well where to go and assimilate back home wherever they came from. Our countries here in Europe have plenty of land, plenty of everything, and in Poland and in Czech Republic and in Russia, wherever these people came from, if they came from Russia and from Poland, they can go back to wherever they came from. We'll take responsibility for that. So this is, this is definitely what you have seen here, what the Facebook is portraying. Definitely, this is nothing to do with me. And I have to tell you, the South African white people especially supported Israel, because Israel is an apartheid state. Meaning that the so-called white minority in South Africa would like to re-establish apartheid again in South Africa. This what you are sharing here, you're sharing bullshit, you're sharing lies about me. I will not go down with it. I'm not down with this stuff. And will exactly contra, I will not go against white South African people. I don't wish absolutely anybody bad. If there is something that I did that was good, that I have created about South Africa, I have alerted the world that something is not okay about killings that are taking place in South Africa. I am not a supporter or a fan of killing of people of any kind, especially not those of minority. I will refuse to, to support uh, killing of any kind of people. I, will, I don't want uh, to support that type of mentality, and I condemn one with everything I possibly can be condemned with. I'm against it. And the stuff as such that is taking place is taking place because the proper steps are not being taken. And the proper steps South Africans should have taken were division of the land equally as it was done in Poland, in Czech Republic, in Slovakia, in Slovenia, in Russia. Uh, in Romania, in Hungary, in Bulgaria, and all the countries across the Eastern Europe. That's exactly the way the stuff should have been done in South Africa. South Africa is from the African people. This is, this is the Africa. This is where the African people are. Anywhere in Africa, this is the way it is. It doesn't matter. This is the way it is. With exception of the northern part of Africa, which is mixed part of, you know, of Africa. But you cannot go out there and behave like this. You cannot go out there and, and do the stuff like this. In fact, even stupid stuff that I settled for insisted they should be given their own country and stuff like this. Fuck this. No. You get you get either along with a program, you get on board, you become part of one, 
or you return back whatever it is that you came from there's like so many illegals crossing to the United States of America from the southern part of the border in that case there is also plenty plenty enough space also for the white minority from South Africa if you don't want to get if you don't want to go with a program so it, it looks like it stops here this is August 29 2018 probably my computer no longer can go back like I said it's poor uh, but this is this got nothing to do with reality what you have seen on my profile the Facebook is using to to portray it has nothing to do with reality you will not see here anything about my traveling to to Hungary my traveling to Poland my traveling to Ukraine my traveling to Belarus it's all there and it, you know I, I, I am the one I cannot access probably because of this computer like I said I protest against this stuff um, joined the January 2011 basically when I was thrown into psychiatric uh, hospital <laughs> so <laughs> collectively basically with hatred they designed they opened also this profile they disabled they dismantled the old profile where I also started to uh, interact with the people who were involved in MK Ultra. Uh, I had a bunch of people that was involved in MK Ultra. I don't know how many people uh, they went on to dismantle one completely and create a new profile and the profile can be seen from January 11 2024 it can be seen here all the way to 2015 and uh, there are other stuff I don't exist anywhere obviously this is it this is Bastianic here there you go that's there you go uh, they're very politically correct they're making sure that you know everything would be accordingly and uh, well you can see that there is no photos there is no photos yeah nothing no videos no photos no shit nothing about me who am I fucking nobody I am there you go about me this is here this is about me life events this is life events there you go let's see if you can find anything other stupid there is my email right there if you like I'm surprised they show that okay no videos no audios no information about me who the fuck am I nobody I am just an imaginary pigeon and nobody and nothing who created more than 2,000 videos probably two hours long each can have not earned not even one cent with it this is who the fuck I am yet whatever the fuck I do they are so wrong at everything they could not even take me down because of so much crime I revealed but I'm nobody I'm a fucking pigeon I'm a nobody I'm a pigeon and a masterminds a geniuses the entrepreneurs scientists and the presidents and their prime ministers are the ones that regulate me like you see right there the kings and the queens and the princesses and princes of the universe quite pathetic isn't it oh I actually managed to get through even further down 2018 let's see how far we get with this I'm not allowed to post on Facebook it says right there 2018 MK Ultra, Zakopani, all this stuff here. Word nothing, man. What is this here? What is this? I campaigned against the Nazism in 2018, but that doesn't matter. And since, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anything. I heavily campaigned against the Nazism, in fact. 
there is my what would be considered is a, even as a communist id right there national resistance yeah that would be like a communist id the communists would have a id like this uh oh oh this is interesting it was illegal it looks like we removed this because it looks like a spam and doesn't follow our community standards oh shit uh my communist id was removed from the internet because it's uh uh it's it looks like a spam and it does not it goes against the facebook community standards There is a whole lot about Donald Trump that I disliked. Oh, there is more stuff here. We removed your comment. All right. Very good. Good, good job. You go. You go. Bravo. Eh? Now they go. They also modify my comments. What do you think? I mean, so, you know, this kind of stuff would definitely give me an idea that my profile, in fact, it can be seen anywhere that people do have ability to see this stuff, you know. The thing is that people did not have any ability to see shit. Two thousand eighteen Slovakia. Before that shirt was stolen from me, anyhow. Hungary, whatever that is. So yeah, this this is this you might think that you are that you're on the internet that you get uh, uh, attention from the people that you know the people follow the stuff you do, uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't work like this it doesn't work they do whatever the hell they want to do. You know, all the stuff that I alerted about this war on the Middle East, it's invisible, nothing is visible. You don't get to see anything. You don't you don't see anything about me. It's like you know. It was bad already with my health in 2018. They were brainwashing me in respect to directed energy weapons and shit. What kind of stupidities I posted. But you know what? I will not take it down. I'm going to keep it up there. I will, I will have one up there. I, I stated a lot of stuff that I was brainwashed through the torture. Till somebody's gonna say eventually at the United Nations 
uh, or wherever place, still you're going to say, well, MK Ultra doesn't exist. This kind of stuff does not exist. It never existed. When you say this, that it never existed, that's when I'm going to take everything down. How about that? We make a deal. Here is my offer to you. That's when I'm going to start to take down everything in respect to MK Ultra. So you think that stuff like this in 2018? Not many people did stuff like this. Not many people would go and give themselves free hands to go about exposing Nazism in the US and in the Russia. That was in 2018. I'm not trying to be politically correct. Fuck you. I'm not trying to be politically correct. I don't care about being politically correct. I am about demonstrating the world that through the worst that I have gone through, I still managed somehow to find myself and I did not become the prime example of whatever British Royals Central Intelligence Agency FBI, Moscow, and Belgrade wanted me to become. You understand? I was in a, such a situation, I tell you, that I would get like four hours of sleep. I was so sick, man. I was sicker than, like they say, sicker than sick dog. I was brainwashed, tortured. Even when I got four hours of sleep per day, they would still get me in their hands and they would continue to massage me with all kinds of directed energy weapons, conspiracies, and all kinds of stuff. Evil as fuck stuff. And I'm not trying to be politically correct. And I'm not, I am unwilling to allow anyone to take any of the stuff I posted on the internet. If it's nothing other, it, it, it will demonstrate how stupid they can make somebody to look like. It doesn't matter. But I did it, and I worked. I worked 80 hours, and I worked 120 hours per week. And I got paid not even one cent, not even one dime for it. And I was tortured with the psychiatric medications, and I could not walk I could not move my jaws. That's how bad it was. I had oil dripping from my scalp. But you know what? No. I still went on, and I did not stop, and I continued to go on, and I prevailed, and I demonstrated the world existence of something so bestial that the world had not witnessed throughout the history of humankind. That's what the fuck I am about. I don't care. And the majority of the people in this world will find they do see themselves in this stuff. Even as far as political correctness, because this is still the most politically correct blog and testimony from anyone in the world. It's more factual. It's factual when compared to the mainstream media and it's factual compared to whatever reports they're going to give you. This is the way it is. And it's proven like this. With my having ability to identify people identify locations identify events not according to the news not according to the media this is about somebody who refused to take from media and i went according to my own memory you know to put out the stuff that is classified to put out the stuff that is never was revealed about certain things but it's a factual stuff historically factual that only the people who are present next to certain political people that were in the history could testify. So this is this is not really Nazism here. This is you would not see this from a classic Nazi. You know, 
you wouldn't see this stuff from the classic Nazi. If I would be a Nazi, if I would be a, a, a whatever I would be. I take here on on SS, I take on Hitler, I take here on, on these people. It's just the torture that was done on me it was done in a such a way so that people who did this and were, uh, were using me to portray themselves as somebody who somehow made a mistake uh, because of me to make me look and feel better no this is not this is not the case you will demonstrate you will see that beginning the 2016 I heavily campaigned against the Nazism. I was the one who heavily campaigned against the Nazism. That was 2016, and now it's 2024. If it's going to allow us to scroll down, that you will get to see this stuff. So where the fuck you get this kind of information that you portray me like this here? Maybe even already 2015, right? I would maybe even 2015 that I started to campaign against the Nazism against the stuff I started to advocate in 2012, 2011. I am not, I am not hiding absolutely anything. I am proud about the stuff I did because the idea is to demonstrate what, how this stuff is done, why they do the stuff like this, who is using this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's probably not going to go below 2018. As far as the photos and stuff on my profile, based on what I see, yes, because this is shit. This is crazy. Here, the two people like this. Here you have people who like this. So this is all based on geographical area. Here you have three people like this. So, you know, I have a feeling that this stuff is actually, it exists. You know what I mean? I got a feeling that my profile actually exists. I wouldn't thought about that something like this is actually possible. This is listed. This is what I see. I don't have the reason. You know what I mean? I don't have no reason to, to assume that that you know that this is this is basically that you know this profile doesn't exist. I don't have no fucking reason to to believe this stuff. I don't have the reason to. I my my reason is that this is basically the stuff that is that everybody gets to see this stuff. Well, this in fact nobody gets to see this stuff. This is 2017. I ended up in the war with everybody. Uh, it was a time when I was when I was when I got into the war with myself, and I wanted to have a war with everybody. Uh, in 2011, I felt that um, people were not people were just uh, this year. This is basically what it all. Let me see that stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it, some stuff is actually quite hilarious. It does make me laugh when I think about it. But the news back then was so crazy too that <laughs> you know, for the heck of a, <laughs> you know, I, you know, some stuff is stupid here. That if you go and you watch this stuff, you're gonna be laughing your ass. Uh, but. This about David Duke. This is 2016. This is a white, what they refer to as a white nationalist. This was another casualty. I, I dedicated him a video as much as I possibly could to destroy one. This was in 2016. And I did. I have proven that the guy is a cheat, a lie, a fake. That he is actually stealing the money from the people. I did this stuff. I went through the financial records the way they talked about and explained the scam. Proven one. I was not even a particular friend of the Nazism, really. I wanted the world to wake up. I wanted the world, I wanted to shock the world. I wanted to do whatever they were doing to me. I want to fuck the world so much so that the world would uh, come to senses so they could feel the pain, so they could, they could understand what the fuck they're doing, this violating basically whatever was done for them after the World War II. Siding basically with those that colonized them. Siding, you fucking side, you cover up, you cover up, you cover up people in India, in China, in Africa, in, involved in MK Ultra. you totally, totally cover up for your colonizers. You, you cover up for the neo-Nazis, for those that tried to exterminate you in Russia and so on. Russians, Pollocks, Czechs, French, British, you, you covered up for the Nazism. You started to cover up for the Nazis. If you if you cover up for the Nazis, if you if you do the stuff like this, then I'm gonna fuck you. Then I have to fuck you. Then I have to fuck you by supporting them, by going out there and start to go hire a little Hitler. Here you go completely berserk. You wanted the war with me, so I gave you the war. That's that's basically the way I do it. So that you see what the fuck is going on. You're going to start to do stuff like this. Then you have to get fucked like this. This is exactly what I did. Because you didn't want to work in United Nations. You didn't want United Nations to do the job. There is no word written that you have the right to sell United Nations. There is no word written that you, and it doesn't matter where you are located, that you have the right to trade United Nations, it, 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 it's nowhere written in a, in a UN chapter. You have the right to shit, to stink United Nations with a the corruption. There's nowhere written that you have the right to sit, occupy a chair at United Nations in the name of the corruption. And the whoever imperialists, neo-Nazis are going to brand as good as dead. will just keep silent about it and wait to be killed. There is no one written about this. There are no rules about that kind of stuff. You didn't take your assignment, you didn't take your duties, your legacy to the UN as a legacy to the UN, but you took one literally as a paycheck, as a form of the paychecks you received from the British, from the CIA, for whatever companies they built in your countries you profited from within so much that it actually didn't matter even what the fuck I was doing on the internet what the fuck I, not what I was doing on the internet it finally started to matter to you when I started to shock you with this stuff 
but it was nothing before this. It was 39 years like I did not exist anywhere. What exactly would it take for me to stop this shit? The shit you supported with the silence. Before 2011, you didn't even care about what went on with me. Why didn't you protest as the United Nations? Why didn't you stop this stuff that you witnessed to? You did not. You didn't do any of it. So I had to take my steps to shock you enough, to fuck you up enough, to wake you from your fucking dream, corruption dream. It was my job, actually, to do this stuff. Two thousand and twelve I complained to the European Court for Human Rights. So you didn't want to do this stuff, you didn't want to stop this stuff. So then I had to come up with this stuff. Then I had to come up with this stuff. I had to do this stuff. It was it was nothing for me to regret. Everything I have done was for the better world. The only thing that I wish is that I possibly could fuck you even more. Maybe I didn't fuck you enough, but I think I did a good job. I think I was as hard as anybody ever was. And the only regret I will ever have that I did not fuck you more. Thank you very much for watching this video. And today is January the 9th, 2024. Just for you to know, I don't regret absolutely anything. I will always be happy to demonstrate to you any kind of video. I will, want, will return all the crazy videos. The more the crazier, the better. Because now it shows what you have done to me. Okay? So I am proud about the stuff I did. I don't regret absolutely anything. I'm extremely, extremely proud about myself. And I hope that it's not going to be another person that you will get to kill like this. The show will be another one like me. There will never be one like me. This, night, this nightmare known as MK Ultra started when I was one year of age with Josip Bros Tito. And sure enough, I had a capacity to go when it all started. They said it's not possible, the stuff like this. Yeah, it is possible. It's possible to do the stuff like that. It is possible. It's possible. Human brain can do it. The only thing I will ever regret is I did not do more to you. Because for everything I did, I did a better world. I created a better world. It was not a politicians. I fucked the politicians so much that I shaped the politicians. I fucked them so much that I woke them up everywhere in india and in china and in africa and in south america because of me you're better people because i fuck you really good and so i think i did pretty good stuff it's going to be peace for some time this war is going to end in ukraine and uh, the world will be again a happy place i hope so that's all thank you very much